Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. And, man, you talk about history here. Bossy, Hotbank, Trottier, Smith. This should be a fun one tonight. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Good heads up play with the bank pass. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Looks to get the puck over to Carlson. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Denies him! Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Great defensive effort with the stick. And that's off target as it hits a body. Slides it on over to Barcel. Passes it to Beauvillier. Here's a shot. Great save. Crisps on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Steps inside. Slides the puck over. He scores! Patrice Bergeron comes through. Toronto's first goal has completely silenced this home crowd. Everybody's expecting a quick start from the home team when it doesn't happen. Everyone, fans and players, are back on their heels a bit. Musa quickly over to Dobson. He grabs the puck here at the point. Can't make the connection on the pass. Handles the pass. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Pass save. Oh, he got all of that one. Grabbed along the board by Wallstrom. Puts it on net. And that's blocked. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Bergeron. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Comes up with a stop. Oh, wow. Another great stop. He shows off his focus and his athleticism, making two unbelievable back-to-back -back stops. Stop that one. They are really dialed in here tonight. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Latang's moving the puck through his own zone. From right out of midair, he bats it down. The Leafs take it along the wall. Caves explores his options in the corner. And that's blocked from someone in front. Inside the offensive zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Scrum ensues along the boards. Quick feed to Hall. Tries to get the puck over to Sisikis. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Can't find his man. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Quick pass to Clutterbuck. Drives it to the crease. And he comes up with it. Takes the pass. Again, the denial by the goaltender. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Ready to get that significant other in your life, or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey? Team Store's got you covered. Visit them online. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Denies him, he got all of it. Moves it to Beagle. Denies him again. Bang, bang, two unbelievable stops. One right after the other. He's got no help from anyone in front of him. He's got to do it all himself. Kerfoot's got it against the boards. Fires it on net. Great save from in tight. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. I've always felt it's a little easier for a goalie playing his first game with a new team. They're on an island by themselves anyway, no matter where they're playing. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Battling for it along the boards. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. 
He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Bailey's got it in the defensive end. Great reach with the poke check. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Salo's got the puck along the wing. Poked away at center by Kerfoot. Moves the puck across to Riley. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Islanders have it against the wall. And the extended stick ends that one. James, he's only one goal away from the next plateau. He's really working the puck now. Glove save! The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Stays with it. The Leafs take it across the line. Puck picked up by Jones. Toronto's lead will stay the same. That's a really good chance that just by an inch or so hits the post and stays out. And that pass doesn't go. Here's a short pass to Hall. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And he takes the feed. And the puck leaves the zone. And now he tries to get it across to Hall. Makes a move in front. Tosses it on to Ledoux. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Shot! Oh, and he keeps it out. He gets a piece of it with the stick. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Pachot is carrying it ahead. Puck scooped up by Beagle. Takes a shot, and he gets in front of it to block it. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Tries to get it over to Hall. Handles it along the blue line. Turns him away. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Latang. Zegers plays the puck. From behind the net. And that goes off a body. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Kulak's trying to change a few things up. This pointless streak is starting to nag at him. Johns is a super fast skater and he uses his wheel zone ability to get by everyone. Kellick's a star defender on his team's blue line. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Bergeron's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Puck grab by Latang. Sacrifices the body. Moves it quickly over to Plenty. Wrist one in front, denies him in close. Eight seconds left on the clock. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. And with play underway, Razor, how do you see things so far tonight? For some one nothing games that are really boring, this isn't it. I mean, there's chances all over the place. The goalies have been fantastic. I think if one creeps in here, the door will open. Poked away in the neutral zone by Riley. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. They're trying to defend that lead aggressively, but they take a penalty. Now the penalty killers really have to do the job. Guys, we know this penalty kill unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league, but they've got a chance here, a real great opportunity to turn things around, so let's see what can happen. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Center again! Dishes 
it off again here. Moves the puck. The lane was clogged up and that shot's blocked. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Now over to Bergeron. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Let's see what the officials are calling. The penalty's called, and right away, the penalty killers stand up. They know the job is theirs to keep this game in a one-goal deficit. A little four-on-four four coming up here. Once you get the puck on four-on-four, on four, just don't give it up. You've got space. Use it. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And now he angles it across to Bailey. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. New York's got the puck against the wall. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Riley. Great hits up play with the stick by Pulak. On the backhand, turns it away. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Matthews uses his skill to deke out the opposition and surprise the goalie with a quick shot to finish the sequence. And guys, that's his shock and awe zone ability, and it's what makes him such a fun player to watch. Back at the point, they set it up. Driving right to the front. Maintains possession. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Matthews. The Islanders are in transition. Right up Main Street and on the attack. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Here they come. Quick pass to Klingberg. Stops it with a glove. That's a great A chance, and the goaltender beats the shooter with the glove. Dead center turned away. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Toronto's up one zip. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gets in front of it for the block. The Islanders take it across the blue line. From the point, they take control of it. Here's a shot, and that banks off a stick. Puck battle along the boards. The Leafs will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Nice zone entry from the middle. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Tries to clear the puck. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Beauvillier's up at the box. Cuts to the front. And it takes a shot. And there's the save. Power play has expired. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I'd characterize that power play. Moves it to Plenty. Here's a shot. Turned aside with the glove. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Looks to pass it to Wallstrom. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Oh, and just got a piece of it with the skate. He swallows that puck up as he slides across in the butterfly to make the save. And that one's turned away. The play continues. He makes the save but keeps it alive as the puck's in the corner. Into the offensive end now. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Front. Stopped by the goaltender. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Pass across to Fowler. Oh, the ref didn't like that one. Sends it over. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Working hard to get a play that can help you get back into this game, but the penalty is really going to hurt them. Here on the man advantage. 
They've got great puck skill on this power play. What's available, I think, is the cross crease one-timer. The Islanders win it in the defensive zone. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Denies them on the play. Slides it to Riley. And it's a quick pass to Johns. Sends a pass over. Puts it on net. Big save. Matthews is ready for the faceoff as we are about to resume this power play. New York's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Toronto's got the puck. The Leafs cross the line and gain the zone. New York's got the puck shorthanded. And some good footwork to kick it away. And he slides it quickly to Johns. Receives the pass. And he slides it quickly to Riley. Hammers it. Denies him on the slaughter. And now he moves it quickly to Carlson. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. And look at this cycle here at Bullapet. And they put it into that attack by finally getting the puck out. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And it's kicked away. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. And there's the save. Big stop by the keeper. He might want to look around and see if there's anyone going to help him. Two unbelievable stops in tight. Turned them both away. Here's a short pass to Voracek. Wolfram's time is almost done. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Latang. Stopped by the goaltender. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Blocked. And the defenders take possession. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Directs it on over to Wallstrom. To the low slot. Right back to the beginning of the night. When the game was tied to start, nobody has the upper hand anymore. Here in the back half of this period, it's all tied up. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Gains the zone on the left wing. Can't make it work. New York's playing it through center. A chance at court! Zone. The Islanders gain possession. And now it's grabbed by Pellick. New York's got it across the line. Wolfram's got it to the side. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Kessel. And he regains control of the puck. Denies him in front. Face-off looming as both set. New York's got possession here in their own end. Quick feed to Bailey. Slides the puck over to Pellet. New York's got it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Crisp's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed cover there. And they take the zone. A nice job tangling him up on the draw. Quick pass to Plenty. Moves it on over to Thompson. Now a quick pass to Parisi. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Riley. The Leafs played along the boards. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close. He takes away any room. Well past the midway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Steps in and 
and takes the puck. The Islanders in transition at center. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Gains the zone along the right wall. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. And now it's over to Beagle. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Barner. Big time stop. The Islanders get a hold of the puck. Pellets crossed the line and gained the zone. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Here's a short pass to Matthews. Gets the puck in deep. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Marner's got control of the puck in the corner. Here he is, wrists it on net. Stones him in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Great cross ice pass. The Leafs gain control of the puck. And that's broken up. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Picked up along the boards by Pichon. New York's gained the line and into the zone. Cuts into the paint! And that caroms off a body in traffic. Into the offensive zone. The Islanders have it from their own end. Puck sent over to Wallstrom. And that's knocked away by Latang. And the puck's kicked free. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Welcome back, James Savalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Comes up with a monster save in front. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a tie game. The Leafs win the draw. Here's a pass in front. Shot. Can't get it to go. Great extension on his part to poke it away. Nice zone entry on the left side. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Romanov's got the puck. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Takes the feed and center moves up ahead. Matthews can thank his teammates as they've got a chance to win this game because he's not done anything, even though he's known as their most dangerous goal scorer. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Beauvillier. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Bergeron's taking it from his own end. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slick feed. Quick shot! Blocker save! Voracek's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Nelson's got the puck in his own zone. And now he moves it to Parisi. Pass broken up. Taken along the wall by Pulak. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. The Islanders play along the wing. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Gains the zone from the right. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Slides it diagonally to Hall. Puck exits the zone. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Toronto's won the draw. And now he tries to get it across to Kessel. Fails to find the open man. New York's in transition. Here's a shot. How did he stop that one? 
slides across in the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile even though you're covering the bottom of the net. The Leafs have it against the wall and tries to make a diagonal pass to Taves. And look at this, we've got a two on one. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. They go on the attack from the left side. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Picks it up and they turn on the pressure. Gives them a whack and the officials are gonna call this one. Picked up along the wall by Matthews. Look at this, it's a two on one. Quick snap. Well, it didn't take long for this crowd to turn. Well, I guess it's another penalty against the home team. They've had it and they want the official to know it. once again send out their power play unit. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. The Islanders win the draw. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. A lot of times a guy will get called for slashing because the stick breaks. When I played, it was wood. You couldn't break that thing if you tried. Just things should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Four-on-four four play usually starts pretty cautiously. It takes one missed pass or one missed shot, and all of a sudden there's man advantage breaks opening up all over. Handles the pass from the right side. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Can't make the connection on the pass. Slides it quickly to Nelson. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Let's it go. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Still lots of time left in the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Nelson slugging the puck. Gets it over to Romanov. Handles the puck. And he slides it quickly to Nelson. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Costaspear. Pops it for the go-ahead goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You've worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. Toronto's got the one goal lead here in this third period. It's starting to look like the goals were going to be really difficult to come by, but they've got another one. Now you want to pressure the team, try and make them make another mistake. Taken by Mayfield. New York's on the attack. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Great read with the stick. Quick pass to Klingberg. You get to a point like this, it's almost like try less. Don't try more. You're looking for the confidence to finish the chances you're gonna get. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Across the line along the left wall. And now he angles it across to Salo. Makes a save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Minnesota's on deck on the schedule. How many guys actually know who's looming? Uh, more than half. I, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know who the next team is on the on the, the room. Oh, yeah. They just play the game that's in front of them. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Islanders' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And they won't connect on that one. New York's got the puck along the wall. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Looks to set up at the point now. Couldn't make the connection. 
Redemption on the play. Moves it to Beauvillier. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Crisp's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Leafs lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Nelson's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. The Leafs work it through center. Fowler's got it along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Bunting. Walker's side save. Takes the feed from his own end. Keeps hold of the puck. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Plenty. Gets in the lane with the body. Camps on the attack of the offensive zone. Oh, makes the save! That was a rocket! Getting into the later stages of this period, Toronto's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. New York's got a hold of the puck. The Leafs gain possession. Whoa. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Oh, they stayed right on it. Once they scored that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Pajot's won the draw. Puck picked up by Ledoux. Here's a short pass to Pajot. Blocked in traffic. They fight for it along the boards. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. The Islanders going to work on offense. Stopped by the goaltender. Chris had a solid night here. Save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Helix looked good, even though he hasn't recorded a point, guys. I think he stayed engaged and has stuck with it, and that's why I'm giving him my vote for our matchup. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Scooped up along the wall by Taves. New York's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Ledoux. Puck scooped up by Carlson. Can't catch up to the pass. And that pass doesn't go. Quick pass to Hall. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Knocked away by Beagle. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Inside of the final minute here in the third. New York's trailing, that's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Leafs have it now. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Moves it to Matthews. Takes a shot. And there it is, the empty net goal. Well, that'll put a bow on this one. A solid performance. Once you punch in that empty net, or everybody can take a little bit of a breath. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Sasikas wins the draw. The Islanders move to the offensive zone. Fires it, and a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Smothered that in close chance. Moves it quickly over to Bergeron. Scores! And there's four in a row! Once they got the one, the confidence grows, the aggressiveness grows, and all of a sudden, you got a four spot. New York's won it. Slides the puck to Clutterbuck. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Latang. Shoots it! And we are all over with this one. Ray, this was kind of a textbook team struggling right now. 
There's a lot of things you like, but they just seem to find ways to lose. It's amazing. When you're rolling along, you win games you shouldn't. And when you're losing, you lose games that you feel better about yourselves than the result. This might be one of them, but you've got to change the record here. Get to work, be a little more sharp, be a little more efficient. Otherwise, this streak continues on. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.